Hello, everybody. My name's Denaru. I'm Grace. I'm going to be your Miss America 2015. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I went with that one. You absolutely did. So we're playing Metal Gear, and I am so excited to be playing Metal Gear. We haven't played Metal Gear in a very long time. We haven't, and we've also not played anything but Sonic 06 for a very long time. Fun fact... Metal Gear Solid is the first game that we ever played together. Oh yeah, it was too. I remember that, because we played Metal Gear Solid 2 and you fell asleep during the Fat Man fight. I was tired. Disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island, sure were. An Alaska's Fox Archipelago <laughs> was attacked and captured by Next Generation Special Forces, being led by members of Foxhound. So this game is dumb, although everyone probably already knows that. Oh, yeah, I sure hope so. Uh, I mentioned it in the thread, but we are going to be spoiling the hell out of, like, the entire series here. Well, because we played so, it already. And yeah, everyone but, like, and their mother you, has played yeah. it already. If you, the viewer, have somehow not played this already, because, I mean, Grace just assumes friggin' everybody plays it, sure. Uh, go watch someone else, because... First of all, we're not funny, and second of all, we're gonna be spoiling stuff. Okay, I'm hilarious. Whether or not the terrorists have the we're also probably gonna be talking to over cutscenes a lot, like we are right now. Okay, so we're basically we gotta go kill a bunch of people. That's that's the goal here. That that is not the goal. <laughs> <laughs> that is not at all the goal. We have to go kill six what? terrorists. That's the goal. No. Isn't that the- we have to get rid of- we have to kill off foxhounds so they don't launch a nuke. That's the mission, right? Well, we don't have to kill them, technically. I mean, it's kind of like a wink-wink-nudge-nudge. If they died, that'd be cool, but... So when was Snake and Foxhound, anyway? So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho right, Madness. when was he it's in like Foxhound? Was that like... Oh! Sniper Wolf. Uh, yeah, during the first game, he was a member of Foxhound. So were these, like, people in the first game as, like, his comrades? No. Vulcan Raven. No, god, no. These guys, these are a bunch of randos that joined after Snake quit. Oh. Except Ocelot, maybe, unless Ocelot is new, too. Uh, no, he's... he wasn't in any of the old games. Oh, because... that's kind of sad, because Ocelot is kind of, like... Liquid snake. Just fantastic. <laughs> the mascot of the Metal Gear Solid <laughs> series. <laughs> now, I think uh, in the first two, it was just uh, Gray Fox and Solid Snake that were going with me? members of the Fox Hound. one man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black See, I don't get that. Don't expect any official support. But I don't get why you go without, mi without weapons. I mean, I know it's off the books and whatnot, but, like, <laughs> why wouldn't you bring a gun with you? Because otherwise you wouldn't be able to get the gun on sight. But and it's basically a snatch and grab. But why wouldn't you come prepared with a weapon of some kind? Nah, you know. Although we are coming prepared, because this is an old file. <laughs> so yeah, this is an old file. I have all the fun stuff. Yeah, thanks. Don't patronize me. Oh, everyone should have the fun stuff because it's fun. It is fun. And they're also, canon I get anyway. To be a, I get to be a ghost jerk. R.I.P. David Hater. I, I don't think he's dead. I'm pretty yeah, sure he's not, he's not dead. Yeah, but he's not in the series anymore, so R.I.P. Yeah. I'm still... Uh, there's this theory going around that, like, uh, the big boss being voiced by... What's his name? The dude from 24? Keeper Sutherland? Yeah. Uh, they say that he's actually Decoy Octopus, and then David Hayter's gonna play the real Big Boss. I hope so. I would love that. Also, hi, hi Cam Clark. Cam! My beloved Cam. What was his stage name in this again? James Flinders. Yes. A name that has been burned into my memory forever. Ah, James Flinders. Ugh. And I know exactly when you're waiting to tell that story to, and I hate you for it. It's gonna be a story for the ages. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. 
I like how Paul Lighting's fake like name was Paul Otis. Like, he didn't even try, man. <laughs> I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. Okay, so codec... When you want to use the codec, push the select push button. The select we button. We contact you. The codec will beep. When you hear that noise, Codex are like in your brain, button. though, for some somehow. Right? Or are they still like? Is it like like no in your ear? It's like a machine that's inside your head. Okay, I'm ready. To Did you know that he just said that while you were asking? Are you really starting this already? <laughs> are you really starting this we're already? Not, we're not even ten minutes into this, and you're already asking me questions that are being explained on screen. It's part of my charm. It, apparently. The best part too is, uh, by the way, I'm using stealth because whatever. Fuck this area. We just have to wait for the elevator to come down. Oh, uh, we gotta be fine. But uh, one thing, one thing I'm really looking forward to is the fact that the colonel really likes to tell you obvious things, and you like to tell me really obvious things. So I'm just gonna get it in stereo for the entire game. Yeah. Oh, hey. Speaking of which, what do you got for me? Snake. There's an elevator there you can take up to Holy the Holy shit. Who You'll could have, have known? For the elevator to come down. You better hide somewhere. You better hide. And we, by hide somewhere, you mean go flip some guards. Yeah, we can't kill any where of them yet. You? Or take their guns for some reason. What? I can kill them? Can we take their guns? I can break their... Oh, good. <laughs> no, we can't take their guns. There's some kind of... A nano machine ID. It's a plot point in Metal Gear Solid 4. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, actually, I think uh, back now it was uh, just like fingerprint locks. Back in 2000 and what? <laughs> Two th I, think, I think this was 2001. Also, yeah. I'm totally stealthily getting the charge cable from my control. Because <laughs> I forgot to charge it before we started. Oh, I thought you noticed that. I... well, I just noticed that now. I thought you noticed it every time you pulled up the pause menu and it said your controller battery was low. Oh, wow. No, I absolutely did not notice that. You're special. Welp. So see, this is what he's talking about. Like, we're, we're the quality of LP on the internet. Yeah, this is kind of why I've been posting solely in the 2007 thread until now, and honestly, I'm not super sure if we were ready to make our own thread. Considering we we've already fucked up like three times in the last ten minutes. Have we fucked up at hey. all? Hey. Well, you talked over the colonel who was explaining how to codec. Yeah, but that's what people expect from me. No, well, I mean, that's true. That's what I'm here for. All right. Excuse me. Man, I hope you're ready for more codec calls. That's true. <laughs> this game is super codec heavy in the beginning, and 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 middle. It's and not as bad as Metal Gear Two, though. To be fair, it replaces codecs in the later games with just straight cutscenes. <laughs> That's true. Well, you know that in uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, the reason there were so many codecs was because they don't have to render the cuts. <laughs> <laughs> it was a money issue. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's this slick suit. Yeah. We're kind of awesome. So Snake's kind of a badass. Even though he's apparently oh, yeah. old, he doesn't look, like, older than in his 30s to me, but... Apparently he's yeah, old. but well, Japan. I mean, remember Legendia, where the old man character was like thirty-one. Actually, he was like, like God, he's so old. Oh God, it's even worse. So Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> nice segue. Yeah, but wearing the suit means that we ditched Otacon once and killed Meryl once. Yeah. Both of which are canon. Both of which are canon, somehow. Metal Gear. It's a Kojima game. It's not Metal Gear, it's a truck. Maybe it's a Metal Gear, you don't know its life story. <laughs> it's Snake. I'm a Metal Gear truck. <laughs> 
<laughs> truck just starts roaring at people. I love how they program it to roar. <laughs> Me too. Dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. Oh, Jen Hale. Peptide snake. Yeah. <laughs> you know soldiers in this exercise are your British accent's not the best. I'm relieved to hear that. Don't Although they just... The, the best part is re by the way, remembering the that, area, like, at this point in time, Jennifer Hale wasn't sure if, uh, like, video games would be a thing that she could voice act in, because they all used their different names. Yeah. And then she was in every video game ever. Ever. <laughs> Russian gunship doing here. Oh no, the Russians! This game was made in the 90s, can you tell? Uh, actually, apparently he bought this from uh, that Gerlukovich guy from the second game. Although I guess... Russia's yeah, kind of come back in favor really. as bad guys, so... <laughs> they are kind of jerks. Their government is, anyway. Yeah. Well, Putin is, anyway. Mm. That, but that's not so great either, but... Well, that was a helicopter. So Liquid just left the island, I guess. Oh yeah, he's just done. Also, it, do we know he's Liquid yet, or...? Well, I think everyone knows he's Liquid. Hours left until the <laughs> that's f yeah, if you don't know he's Liquid, you should have gotten out of here by now. What are you still doing here? Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. <laughs> this is Mei Ling. Hi, Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our I just love that smirk the colonel gets. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Soliton radar? Questions about either uh, did they... Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like you. I have an accent that's going to be forgotten in two games. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. Just like I just Jennifer Hale. World -class designer of military <laughs> just, oh my god, that's right, too. She does <laughs> randomly get an American accent later on. Me. Yeah. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous solid snake. <laughs> oh, but, Mei Ling. Uh, I can kind of see why your accent was retconned. Here. Yeah. Like we both have a lot to learn about each other. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton <laughs> Oh, please do. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. God, I remember this blowing my mind when I was young. Highly developed senses of yeah, now it's kind of really therapy. dumb. <laughs> sure it it is pretty see. dumb. First, I, want you to I was just like, oh my god, this is a real thing that could exist. Teeth. And... No. The Dapper Chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. Oh, nanomachines. It appear on your radar as a yeah. The slippery slope here. Nanomachines weren't a bit as big a deal in this game, though. If he's alive, that is. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> no, they weren't. Also, do you see Snake randomly turn invisible at the end? <laughs> Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Which doesn't make any don't sense. I don't really know what that means. Yeah, I... Technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. Which means whenever be convenient. <laughs> by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current data. <laughs> Careful now, Melee. Let's not go into the whole triangle button, square button thing. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Save your data with this frequency. Uh, there it is. I knew you were going to do it. I knew you I knew you couldn't resist. Is that a condition? Did you decide? No. And then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself putting that position. So are the rules in the thread, or do you have to explain them? Piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search uh, on me. No, I haven't actually made the thread yet, so I don't know. Way, sorry to disappoint Shh, you, but I don't didn't break the fourth wall. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> so yeah, basically, uh, we're having a bit of a drinking game. Or I am, anyway, because Grace is a loser that gets blackout drunk and pukes yeah, from now. half a bottle of Asti. In like 15 minutes. Okay, so that's <laughs> yeah, my <okay>. defense. <laughs> So basically, uh, I'm probably going to explain this in the thread too. I should probably wait until Paul finishes up here, actually. 
but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I'm not gonna fight with Paul Aiding, I like Paul Aiding. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed hey. with five five sixers, pineapples. Pineapples? Is this an episode of Psych? There's a reference no one's gonna get. Everyone should. Everyone should what absolutely. About the air duct near the door. Hey. There should also be a duct on the second okay. floor. Okay. Let's. <laughs> Snake, it's over to the left. Come on, I got this base pretty much memorized, <laughs> considering how much I've played this game. Yeah. I'll let you decide the best COA. Oh, will you? COA. Course of action for some, like he says COA and then it just says in the subtitles what that means. It's like Paul, why couldn't you just say? It's sort of like how in those shows where they're like GSO GSW and it's like it's <laughs> the same amount of syllables as saying gunshot wound. Yeah, literally, there's no difference. I like Laney though, so <laughs> she gets a pass. Okay, so yeah, uh, we're having a bit of a drinking game. Uh, since this is a game that I've played a lot, I should be good at it, and therefore I'm going to punish myself whenever I'm not. Yeah. Uh, I am a massive beer wuss. Yeah. In that I've hated pretty much every kind of beer that I've tried, except for draft. For some reason, I like draft. Oh yeah, speaking of which, just check this guy out. Just not my job, contender of the year. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't care. Take a picture of him. I need to take a picture of him, send it to his boss. Hey, Liquid. Your employees suck. Your employees are terrible. So does your camera if I'm if I'm out of range. <laughs> I love how there's a camera feature. I love how the camera I feature know. is an important feature in the second game. Yeah. Whoops, I think I threw that too close to him. I'm pretty sure he's going to wake up. Yeah, he didn't like did he that wake much. Up? Well, he did. Fine. I think he goes right back to sleep, so... Yep. Oh shit! That was right in front of the camera! Oh. Or... Not... Hey, fine. Cool. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing a bit of a drinking game. Uh, every time I get an alert, I'm taking one drink. Every time I have to use a ration, I'm taking two drinks. And whenever I die, or get a game over at all, uh, I take a shot of rum, because fuck it, I should not be dying in this game. I've played this game so many times. Yeah, so with, between beer and liquor, you're going to get sick, so it's going to be fun. Eh, probably. Not for you. <laughs> or maybe I'm a large Canadian man and I can handle my liquor unlike you. You know what? I'm just saying. I didn't do anything to deserve so, yeah. this. Uh, each session, I'm gonna either try a new beer or get a beer that I know I already don't like. Were all the Silkum pistols yeah. unloaded? So it yeah, gives me an excuse to try new things. What is it? Oh, it could backfire because you could find something good and be like, the "Shit, now what do I do for the rest of this <laughs> session?" <laughs> the east side <laughs> then I get to drink a decent beer and have an excuse. <laughs> Fair. Wait, I thought this was. Oh, wait, no, that's right, I had to go the other way. Gosh, this, this you know, oh. for being the PlayStation 1, this doesn't actually look that bad. It, it, it hasn't aged very well, but, like, especially back then, because I went from the N64 to this game. This was my first PS1 game, and let me tell you, it looks really good compared to the N64. Poor N64. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, here we go. Snake, this is McGill. Hey! Hey! It's been a long time. So, Master, what are you doing here? I quit being this a is story time. So I moved out here for some peace and quiet. <laughs> the very the second, like the first time we played this, the very more, second I that I saw that, 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 that Master Miller came on, on the, the only question I had is, why is the villain calling you? Campbell told me about the situation here. <laughs> God damn it. And some use. Dan was pissed. I was pissed. Well, and I'm like, but it's the same voice. Like, literally identical. Cam Clark does nothing to change his voice. He doesn't, but you know what? And I'm like, 
it's Cam Clark. And you were like, no, it's James Flinders. And I'm like, no, it's Credit Cam Clark. <laughs> and it says very specifically, Cam Clark, played by James Flinders. I don't think it says Cam Clark, played by James Flinders. Or Liquid Snake, played by James Flinders. <laughs> Liquid Snake and Cam Clark are just interchangeable in my brain. <laughs> God, what the fuck are you talking about, Miller? To ensure the survival of their own genes. Genes! Genes. Oh, genes. Here we go. If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. Well, I came in through the exit, so that's not... Oh, wait, no, we can just follow the mice. It's fine. Apparently. Oh, God, that's right. There's water in here. I've, I've had this nightmare before. That so you've been in an air vent full of water? Not as often as the space one, but I've definitely had this nightmare before. That's an oddly specific. Yeah, and that like is... you. Well, not specifically an air vent, but just something you can't really move around in, and you just have to kind of hope that there's no water at the end of it, because otherwise you're just gonna drown, and it's gonna be a miserable death. You know, what? we don't have to take your negativity on this show. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just saying. This is a positive, fun experience for all of our friends <laughs> at home, and you're just being Debbie Downer. <laughs> all five of you that are watching this for some reason. I'm sure there's at least ten of you. Is it... Yeah, yeah, right. Maybe. Most of the views are gonna come from... Oh, shit. Oh, no. No, nope. I don't no, think okay. I, don't I, think, I don't think shit can watch a video. Don't be mean to me. <laughs> Use the elevator to change. Thanks, doors. Paul. There should be a Thanks. elevator that you can take down. See, I wouldn't else. have said that. Try to find it. <laughs> in, the, yeah, in this LP, uh, the role of Grace will be played by Paul Eiding. <laughs> Don't. You would be so <laughs> upset with that in real life. <laughs> what if you had the voice of Paul Eiding? Yes. <laughs> I, mean, I like Paul and all, but he's not exactly cute. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I oh, God. I wouldn't have told you to use the elevator to change floors. Yes, you would. No, I wouldn't have. I'm not that bad. Look at the radar. Oh. It's picking up the DARPA chief. Oh, hey, He's look. We're park. almost done. We How just have to get the DARPA chief. Hey, it's a short game because I mean, it is PlayStation One. That's true. They couldn't fit that much on here. I mean, can you look so at we'll these? Get the... Look at these graphics. <laughs> so, have you been taking a drink every time they've alerted you like this? Oh, no, you mean another type of alert. Never mind. What the hell are you talking I about? I don't know what I'm talking about. We talked about this for weeks. <laughs> for, like, over a month now. Also, thanks, Paul. Just press the action button by the press ladder. Press the action button by the ladder. In <laughs> I asked you for help. Why is this? Okay, there we go. <laughs> and you were like, yeah, no, alerts are fine. And now, like... What is it, 24 <laughs> minutes into the first episode, I find out you had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> no, as soon as I said that, I realized, wait, I remember what you're actually oh, talking I about now. I hate Alaska. <laughs> you know, when the colonel alerts you, and... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. You, you know? <laughs> you know. Sure. That happens a lot, so that's kind of alcohol poisoning. It, it does, and that's... <laughs> Yeah, that's why that's not one of the conditions. Also, hey, Johnny. Johnny! Of that of all the recurring characters, Johnny became one. Is he? Wasn't he just talking about Meryl? Uh, yeah, he was. He, he was talking about how Meryl was built. How, who he eventually decides to marry. <laughs> Even sadder, Meryl eventually decides to marry him. Yeah, that is pretty sad. Snake, the dark like, wow, Meryl. All I'm saying is Otacon never gave up on Snake. Uh, Take a look around in first-person view mode. That's true. Also, yeah, we talked over... We talked over everything so far in this game. People know so this game. So it's nothing new. People do know this game. I mean, if you don't know Metal Gear yeah, Solid... Where have you been all your life? <laughs> DARPA chief, we found you, even though you're not hey. actually the DARPA chief. I'm here to save you. No, you know. You're the DARPA chief. No, Donald he's Andy. it's Sigand. You're here to save me, huh? He's gonna tell us about What's guns. 
guns. They sent here to save I love the fact that of all characters, Sigint became the DARPA would... chief. <laughs> like, of all the people to head up DARPA, I would absolutely trust that man. Yeah. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? The terrorists. Do they really have the terrorists. To launch the terrorists. Movement? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening. That actually was another condition I thought was when Snake says a noun as a question. <laughs> then you'd be dead. <laughs> Is it possible? Yeah. It's possible. They could launch a new one. How do they narrow? <laughs> I thought this place was just for keeping. These are really thin concrete walls, apparently. No, well, I mean, they're probably not concrete. They're like pixels. No, well, yeah, they're just pixels. <laughs> it is a government facility. They they tend to skimp out on stuff. You know. They, they don't have the budget for it. Obama and whatnot. Oh, hold up, hold up, shh, hold on. Here, I think it's coming. I think it's coming. <gasps> Metal, Metal Gear. Yes! It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. Hey, that's racist. How did you know that? <laughs> We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. <laughs> so that's the reason you were here at this disposal. I don't even know what to say about that. Why <laughs> else? Also, I love the fact that he's like, <laughs> you knew about Metal Gear, and he's like, well, yeah, I've blown up like three of them. Metal Gear project yeah, 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 yeah. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. Why would you? We why? Why? Why Metal Gear project, though? Like, what does Metal Gear do? It's metal. Metal Gear. It. It's metal. It's gear. <laughs> it, like, what else would you call it? The Aside from giant robo nuclear revolution. dragon. No, I mean, why would? Why? Why? Why would you build a giant nuclear Let's robo dragon? Um, why would you not? Because it's not very practical. The code name for the Look, if somebody code comes code. up to the head of DARPA and says, Okay, I have this plan for a giant dragon, it screams, it has a laser, and it can shoot nukes from a railgun. Like, I would just spend all the money I had. <laughs> oh. Shut up in there, will ya? Piss off, Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> Johnny, how do you keep ending up working for the bad guys, though? But I thought that all nuclear I know, right? warheads were equipped with safety measures. But then you end up working for the good, good guys, no sort of. In the no, he doesn't. Fourth you game. Yes, no, he doesn't. But a he's a good guy because he's on Merrill's side. Yeah, but Merrill was being controlled by the Patriots. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, remember? I forgot about that. <laughs> it's like, look, if you move around Rat Patrol One, it spells Patriots. It's like, are you fucking joking? I'm like, piss off, Trevin. Sick of your bullshit. <laughs> it spells Patriots. God. <laughs> they found out my password. You talked. Psycho Mantis. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah. Psychomantis. Wait, why are you surprised by Psychomantis Snake? You literally were briefed <laughs> on this. Yes, yeah, but we were talking over the briefing, so Snake couldn't hear. Oh. It's not my fault that Snake's bad at his job. <laughs> Excuse me, I haven't gotten caught yet. That's true. And you are dressed dapperly. They'll be able to launch a new Exactly. Man wearing a tuxedo this. like that, you know he's got what? no time to get caught by people. The card keys. Card keys. They were designed by oh, Christ, here we go. The system developers as an emergency. Are you ready for your fetch quest, Even Snake? Without the passwords, you can just <laughs> assert the card keys and engage the safety lock. You're gonna be really pissed when you and find out the, <laughs> the yes. quest behind this. You can stop the launch. You mean the twist? The twist, whatever. You were trying to words, so but you weren't. You know what? Baker should have them. What? Listen, you're not very you nice. Need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one. Do you like hanging out in really okay. unsafe blast two furnaces? <laughs> well, actually, you know no. An uh, octopus doesn't there. know about that. Somewhere in the Otherwise, they would have done it themselves. Oh yeah. 
I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Oh. <laughs> Any other clues? Yes. They cemented right, the, the three key cards didn't have and time. the horribleness <laughs> that is why the... Why would they do that? The walls are a different color. Here, take this. It's my ID card. Yay. It'll open any level one security door. Level one. <laughs> it's called a pad. I hope you like trying to track down all six of these. Why would the DARPA chief not have no a higher clearance in this place? <laughs> it transmits data using the salts in your <laughs> That is a very good question. As you approach the door's security devices... <laughs> he keeps trying to jump in Metal Gear and ride it around the so they had to lock him out. <laughs> I know I would. Okay. No, that's why you're I'm not the Dark Chief. Wait a minute. What is it? <laughs> that, that and many other you reasons, yes. Heard any other way to the pal, have you? From your boss well, and the fact that you're not American. <laughs> Are you sure you haven't heard anything? Are you sure? I I'd really no. like it if you did. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. <laughs> it has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? What about the Pentagon? The Pentagon. <laughs> what is it? Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, you okay, buddy? Uh... Fox! Foxder. Oh. Oh, he went in for the... He went in for a hug, but Snake left him hanging. Well... Not cool, Snake. He was dying, Snake. What? 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 I forgot yeah, that like, they... Come on. I forgot that they killed Octopus for... Just literally no reason. <laughs> yeah, apparently uh, there was a decoy octopus fight, and it was supposed to be kind of like the laughing octopus one, but it's a PS1, and it was very hard to do, so they just said, eh, the kill him off screen. Yeah. Or what kill him on screen, but outside of battle. I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but. A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something? No. Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to no. Only the like security level that's red. my mod. Only like that's my entire like <laughs> purpose in this whole file. series, you except for the second game, which I'm in, but also apparently I'm not in. To the file. I told well, you, that's the complicated. Defense is an operational control. Seriously though, I love this. That like the guy in charge of the op isn't even here. Don't have time to debate. It's just like, no, Colonel, you run this show, and he's like, well, can I have access to the files? And he's like, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, you know. Oh. 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 Is there a party out there? Uh. Can I play? Excuse me. Hey. Somebody, ki somebody killed the DARPA chief. I don't know who it was. It's certainly. Excuse me. Can I have the keys? There's a body in hey. here. Hey, I can I can see you. You're you're not hiding very well. <laughs> Do you know how to hide a body? Ugh, yeah, he's not doing too good. <laughs> okay, and on that high note, that's 34 minutes. Next time on Metal Gear, maybe Dan will get drunk. I'm sorry. Just Actually, no, I'm not. I'm excited that I've avoided drinking this so far because I can smell it from here, and it's not good. Doesn't smell good. Oof.